Fellow Earthlings, AGK here with a little Forge modding tutorial. Now today we're going to go through something called the, um, the Intermod Communication Event type thing. That, that's what it's called, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, abbreviated as IMC Event. Uh, where it is, basically what it does is allows two mods to kind of communicate to with each other. So there's the first mod, which in the init will be sending the message, and then the second mod will have its own event, which is right here, that will receive that message. Now that second mod can't really reply to it, per se, but because it knows that that mod just sent it to it, it exists, so it can use its own way to reply. So in Forge, there's no way to reply to a message, it seems like anyway, but it allows you to kind of send certain inf pieces in of information between mods. Uh, those information include strings, NPTs, data, or uh, item stacks. So let's get to it. Uh, first of all, in this, this mod I have up here is my common mod, which can be found, just a second, on my blog under IC2. That should say tutorials. It will be tutorials by the time this goes up. Uh, but yeah. Now, I see two tutorials, tutorial downloads, and I have it right here. Um, and then just download the version for 1.6, that's what this tutorial is in right now. Uh, let's get started. So in here, we're going to do uh, FML, because Forge Mod Loader, Inter Mod Communication, which is just abbreviated as C-O-M-M-S, dot send message. And now you'll see the, the three ways of sending this message. Can I explain that? Yeah, there we go. I can send the item stack, an NBT tag compound, or a string. And for this example, I'm just going to do a string. You can also do some messages and stuff like that, but for this part, we're just going to send a blank message. Uh, in this tutorial, I don't really have a, another mod to send it to, so I'm just going to send it to myself, or to our ourselves, and yeah, so it's just going to be sent to, to general. In normal cases, you would want to send this to a different mod that has a, um, a its own mod ID, and you'll send it to that mod ID. So now a key is just kind of the title, I guess you could say, of that message, the subject of it. It doesn't really matter too much, but allows us to determine what value we're going to get from it. So in this case, I'm just going to do test. It doesn't doesn't need to be anything in particular, it could be mom, it could be proxy text, it could be a tooltip for an item, it can be anything. Uh, a string, anyway. And now for our uh, value of it, this is our string, npt tag, or item stack. I'm just going to do a string, we're going to call it guess what it worked. Perfect. Ooh, didn't mean to click there. Uh, I always end on that, and there we go. That's pretty much all you need for this part. Um, now let's get into the receiving of the message. It is part of the event handler. We're going to do a public void, and as per any event, you can call this anything you want. So I'll just do get messages. You're probably better if I did receive messages, because it's not really getting a message. It's it's receiving a message. So now inside of this, we're going to do IMC, Intermod Communication Event, in event. So there we go. Now inside here, um, it will send us here, uh, get messages. It's in an immutable list, so it's a, a it can it'll receive multiple messages at the same time. So we're just going to do immutable list with the value thingy and and uh, message sorry. Can't type message current list event dot get messages. So there, there we go. We're gonna make a new list with the object, the value, the can't remember what that's called right now. It, it sets it so this current list, this current list is a i a, a IMC message type. It, it receives IMC messages, not just blank objects. So now inside here, 
we are going to do a for statement to parse out all the messages. Uh, and it is so int i equals zero. This should be pretty self-explanatory. Current list dot size because we want to get the size of how many messages there are, and then plus, plus. Uh, so that's just a very simple for statement. You should, you probably should know what that is by now. So now we're going to receive IMC, IMC messages, message, message is equal to current list dot get message, and the message will be not capital I. Little. Okay, so the message will be, it's called an IMC message. We're going to call it a message, and we're getting it from the index of this that we're currently on, which is I. So that should be pretty, you, that should be something you understand for the most part anyway. So now we're going to do if the message dot key equals, oh, not Q, dot equals What's the problem here? Duh. Yep. Okay, if it equals test, because that's what we have our key, test, and then we're going to, well, let's put something in the logs. We'll go up to our pre in it. Actually, we'll go up even further to, I lost the mouse again. I have a new mouse, or I got a new mouse, and it sucks. <laughs> Public logger, logger. We're just going to make a, a get out our event. Dot. It's like, this allows us to output stuff to the Minecraft console. So logger equals event dot get mod log. There we go. Now in the post right here, logger dot info, and we're gonna do message received. Um. And we'll do one space there. There we go. Message dot get. Not oh, you wrong. Get string value. And yeah, that should be just about what we need. Uh, for each message it gets sent that has the key of text or test, it will output it to the console. So yeah, there we go. I know how to spell, don't worry. So there we go. That's just about what we need. Let's try it out and I'll be right back as, oh, I can just do this because it'll output to the console right here. We don't need to wait for anything to launch. Let's just wait to find our, what did we send it as? We sent it as guess what it worked. So let's look for guess what it looked. It worked in here somewhere. There we go, message received, guess what, it worked. So, it worked, congratulations, you have succeeded in sending a, a message between mods. Well, air quotes between mods, it just kinda, you, you would normally send this to a different ID, and you wanna make sure that they are receiving the message, or else it's just kinda being like any normal person that doesn't have friends just talking to people and they don't reply. So yeah, that's just about it. Uh, thanks for watching. I don't think there's much else to say. Uh, just remember you can send item stacks or NBT data through this, so it's pretty darn useful. That's about it. Thanks for watching.